hello youtubers what is going on i hope everything is fine so in today's video we are going to be talking about how we can use kotlin in react native so over to the kotlin homepage, you can see kotlin is a mobile uh, programming language not only for mobile of course we have mobile cross platform we have native data science android web technologies uh, and also server side so it's uh, actually a modern programming uh, language that you can actually use to build a good application. So today we are going to see how we can use this Kotlin on React Native when we are talking about bridging with uh, Kotlin and React Native. Uh, if you're familiar with React Native, you should be familiar as well with native modules. So they kind of give us a brief example of how you can use native module on your React application or your React Native application. So these are some steps, pretty cool steps they do put down, but uh, when you follow these steps, it will now actually work with uh, Kotlin because these codes are directly Java codes. So Kotlin has its own way. So I kind of uh, compiled a blog post of how you can actually do this. So if you come over to my blog, you can see the title Kotlin vs React Native using, using Kotlin codes inside React Native. So I kind of made some uh, progress here and also put something down that we can actually use to achieve that. So this is what we are going to try to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create this file called modulepackage.kt. I'm going to open my Visual Studio code. I'm going to go over to Android source, main Java. Quickly here, I'm going to create a file and paste that. And if you can observe, this code here looks similar to this code over here because you use it to register your model to your main application of Java. So they kind of look alike, but this is a Kotlin way of doing it. And the other way is a Java way of doing that. I'm going to just copy this line of code. The package, I'm going to check the package from my uh, other package, from my main application, I mean. So it, it, it's saying package dot com sorry com dot kotlin so i'm just going to copy that and paste it so that is it for this model package so if you can observe here i i kind of created an alert manager of course we are not going to be alerting anything no but i'm just going to show you how you can use managers and also we pass the context the context of the current activity that we are actually running with so it was passed down so the next thing I have to do is to come over to the code and it says go to Android build or gradle and add these lines of code, which I'm going to quickly do. I'm going to come over to Android build or gradle. I'm going to add this line of code to the extension. And I'll save that. Then I have to also add this line of code as well to the uh, dependencies. I'll as well save that. So let me quickly. So if you can observe here, we are using a Kotlin version and this happened to be the latest version in the time I'm recording this, vi uh, this video. So that's exactly what I referred there. And you can see when I select this, it also got highlighted. Now the next step says go over to the Android app build or gradle and add this line of code. So we already have this by default from React Native. I'm just going to copy uh, the two down and quickly I can just go over to Android app build or gradle and at the topmost is where we do add that line of code. So sorry for that guys. I'm just going to paste that which is going to allow us to use Kotlin and also uh, Kotlin Android extensions. So the next step says, go over back to, okay, we have already added this class path. Yes, we have already added this. Uh, go over to and add this line dependencies. I think it's same thing with this. Okay, we've already done that. So go back to Android app, build a gradle and add also this line of code in the dependencies as well. So we are there. Let's scroll down to dependencies and we can just add this over here. 
And if you can observe, I'm using the standard library from Kotlin so that I don't have to kind of have issues. This is good because whenever they have a stable version, you just have to grab it and use it on your code. You don't have to waste time. So let's go back and after the steps, go to main application of Java and register the module package that we created. I'm just going to copy this line of code. Come over to main application of Java. And over here where we do add packages, I'm just going to add that and save. And then we can click, sorry, create a lot manager.kotlin. I'm just going to copy exactly everything you see here. And inside the here, I'm going to create an alert manager.kt and I'm going to save that. So that is how we can use Kotlin. So we are done uh, adding everything. So let's go ahead and run this application. If everything happens to work fine, we are not going to have any errors. Our application is going to run perfectly without any issues. All right now, let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to type down your Android. And let's give it this a uh, couple of seconds, then we can continue. Right now, you can see our app is running and we don't have any issue. So we can actually use Kotlin on our React Native. So let's go ahead and call the React method that we actually specified in the Alert Manager. So going back to the Alert Manager, you can see there's a method called Trigger that we actually uh, put down here. Uh, we use React method to push this to React Native. And we are going to be making use this, make use of this from this auth. So all I have to do is to go back uh, to the post. We have to create this file called kotlin.ts and then we can put this line of code inside that kotlin.ts. Let's go ahead and do that quickly. So over here, I'm going to create a file called kotlin. So ts means js, anyone you want to use, you can as well use that. And I'm just going to save. So you can realize that this same name that we are using here is the same name that we are actually using here. So whatever you name here is whatever the native module is going to use to refer to that uh, mod, uh, package that you actually created with Kotlin. So back in our app.js, so don't mind this red squiggle line. Back in our app.js, we can just uh, copy that down and we can just save that. So let me just paste that. But before we do that, I just have to come over here. I can just put log D, log dot D, alert, alert has been found. So we are going to get this from our log cut when we are uh, actually uh, consoling it from our, uh, cons uh, from our bash actually, or from our terminal. So I'm just going to call that Kotlin. Then one way you can actually know that your linking worked perfectly is to make use of the use effect. So if your use effect worked uh, fine, you are not going to have any problem. So all you just have to do is to call all the trigger. If you can remember, we have a method called trigger. So let's save that and check our Android emulator. Uh, let's kind of give it a refresh. So if this app happened not to crash, then you know that everything worked perfectly. So it says unable to resolve Kotlin. So I'm just going to... Okay, let's save that again. And refresh. So everything seemed to be working pretty fine. And... Uh, Let's kind of consider log what is going on in this uh, Kotlin file or Kotlin ad, uh, application actually. So you can just type adb log cards. You put the name of the package and let's go ahead and see what is going on. So at the end, we are going to get uh, some, some references to our lot manager. Let's go ahead and save this app.js and go down so in uh, here we are supposed to get, let me kind of search for it. So let me search for a lot. Manager. 
So nothing seems to be showing. But actually our application is running fine. So I'm just trying to find a way to console.log that value. Uh, let's go ahead and restart this application as well. Young Android. So once this is done, we hopefully should see the log card that we do put down on our trailer. Our app is running back and fine. And let's go over to the console. And in the console, we, we actually should see so over here, you see alert has been found. So this alert has been found is actually coming from our alert manager. So that's how you can use Kotlin to, uh, sorry, that's how you can link Kotlin to your React Native application and actually use it to do whatever you want to do. So if you're familiar with uh, using Java, you can actually build your own main activity, or sorry, your own activity and interface and still link it together with your React Native application. And everything is still going to work very fine. If you want to push a string, it's always easy. Just like you can get your method, you can as well return a string. Uh, maybe you create a React method that is going to return a string. Then you can have a, have access to that string in your React Native application. So that's how you can use Kotlin on React Native. If you really enjoy watching this clip, do make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button.